Pictures and videos of Chile's strikingly modern and beautiful capital city, Santiago, are incredible, don't get me wrong. But have you ever wondered what it feels like to step into the picture through all five senses? Today, I'm diving into the smells that capture the Santiago Chile experience in the latest episode of my Sense of the World series. This is a Sense of Travel with Michael Matheny. Let's dive in. Dirt. Now, this first scent may seem like a bad thing, but it really isn't. Santiago sits in a valley surrounded by towering, semi-arid mountains. As such, wafts of earth, soil, desert dust, boulders, and clay fill the dry, arid air. Sizzling empanadas. Street food is always such a great way to tell what the local eats are defined by, and the streets and cafes in Santiago carry a constant reminder that there's always room for empanadas, especially when they're as delicious as they are in Chile. While empanadas are the most prominent of the street food scents, churrasco and sopaipillas on the griddle occasionally join the scentscape. Sun-baked concrete. Especially in the heart of the city, Santiago carries scents of concrete baking in the sun, most notably in the summer. While surrounded by beautiful, striking mountains, central Santiago is a concrete jungle and the scents are inescapable. Fresh mountain air. Speaking of striking mountains, Santiago is wedged between the Andes and the Chilean coastal plain. When you move away from the concrete jungle, notably into the smaller towns surrounding the metro area like Cajon del Maipo, the crisp scents of fresh mountain air fill your nostrils. Arid Greenery A semi-arid climate doesn't mean that Santiago isn't green. Cacti, exotic flowers, and wild grass cover the jagged mountainsides and canyons, adding a dry, green scent to the fresh, crisp air. A Santiago candle, if I were able to make one, would blend the notes of earth, empanadas, concrete, crisp fresh air, and arid plants, and would take you straight to Chile's capital as it burned. Stay tuned for more episodes in my Sense of the World series as I document the five senses of cities, countries, and natural wonders around the world. Until next time, thanks for watching.